another video on our YouTube channel. Today we're over at the sawmill getting some diesel for the bobcat because it ran out the other day. So we're going to be making two videos today. One's going to be on this channel. You ain't seen us in a while. We're on spring break. I mean, <laughs> Christmas break. And we're about to go back there and load up a lot of pallet wood. You guys ain't seen us do pallet wood in quite a while because we did it last winter when we was over here working on land. And so now we're on to Dad's land. Link in the description. Let's get to it. So, we want to give thanks to High C for sending us some coveralls. I got them on right now. It's pretty chilly. It's supposed to get really cold this weekend. I got my boots on too. Gotta to have them for back there in the mud where I don't get my feet wet. But yeah, thanks for sending us these coveralls and boots. Shout out to High C. Shout out to High C. <laughs> All right, now it's time to go over the game plan of today, what we've got to get done, okay? Number one, skid steer could be out of diesel. We don't know for sure, right? I had to run into the eye doctor yesterday evening because I got a big wood chip in my eye. And uh, I tried to get out the bottle of water and it just pushed it up all the way in the very tip top of my eye. And I uh, went to go with the eye doctor and he flipped my eyelid open. Buddy, he flipped her out hard. You should have seen it. It was like that far. And he got that little thing, he raked it out. And uh, anyway, I got me some safety glasses last night. Should have had them before, but it's a little too late, I guess. But anyway, so Connor thinks the skid steer is out of diesel. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see if we can get it fired up. He shut it off pretty quick. So hopefully the filters didn't get run dry. If we're gonna do that, we have gotta finish the load of pallet wood on 057. Then we gotta haul that to the pallet wood yard is going to start the skidder while we're trying to finish that load he's going to pull the rest of the trees in over here out of the way while we're trying to finish that load of pallet wood okay number three once that gets in we're going to haul the pallet wood to the pallet mill and the good thing about that place is is what what's the, what's the best place about the pallet wood place check right the, that day as soon as you get it hauled you go on to the scale they weigh you you go in Come back, that way the empty truck, then you see how much weight you had on, you get paid right then and there. That's, that's nice about the pallet wood place. Okay, once we get back, then the boys have a massive order, well, I guess the whole family really does, has a massive order of firewood. It started out with how many ricks? Ten. A guy wanted 10 ricks of wood, and then it went to how many? 20. 20. And then, <laughs> we, we, me and dad, while the boys was in sick the day we cut, the ends was, wasn't it? They've been pretty sick. Well, I guess we all kind of have. Dad is right But now. Yeah, that's the doctor today. That's why he's not here. But anyway, so me and Dad hauled six Rick one day or four Rick one. And uh, we get there and he said, you know what? Just give me 10 more. So he's wanting 30 Rick of firewood. So we've got to cut 30 Rick. We've called, I think we've hauled six total. Man, the boys hauled two more Rick yesterday. So we got to haul how many more Rick if we've hauled six? 24 more Rick. So we have got to do some wood. So here where we're at, the waywood is, hasn't been moving great. So we've just been putting the waywood to the side and cutting it up with a skid steer. It's super fast, super easy. And we've just been knocking that wood like crazy. He's not real picky on what kind of wood he gets. So that makes it a lot easier for us just to whack it up real quick and haul it. And uh, so we got to haul the firewood. And this guy, he has five German, German Shepherds. And uh, the first time we went, we was a little bit hesitant to get out. <laughs> Cause dad called him, he's like, uh, we're, I think we're at your house. Do you have four German Shepherds? He's like, no, I got five. <laughs> so, we, but uh, I think they've got like one of those shot cars on them. They can't get over there to us. Not that they'd want to hurt us or anything. That pretty friendly, but still. Yeah, let's hope this gets through stars. I really does. I hope, really hope it does. And if not, me and Ike's going to beat Connor up because he- No, we're going to, we're going to lift him up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, hope you guys enjoy. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's go. Alright, we got it. Oh. Is it going? Yep. Oh, please don't quit. What happened there? Maybe because it's like. That's because you're too close. It's having to go. Look at how it's having to try to grab. Did you drink a little bit? Yeah, I did.
now it's something else. We just got our hunting shack over here. And we got it set up. And, uh, oh, what in the world? Who are you? Who are you? You in jail? Yeah. All right, we'll get back in there. I'm not sure one phone call, okay? Uh, I, I didn't schedule a visit. Oh. Uh, back well. in there, go on. Everybody, we got us a load of pallet wood right here. Ike's banding her down. We went and skidded a few extra. We took some down there and then, then that had some cut down there. And sorry, our camera's a little floppy. We got some grade logs here and some tie logs. Tomorrow we're probably gonna haul our grade logs. And but me and Lane's out taking slow pallet wood. They get down banded. Not the worst either, so 